foundation of the house here in Philadelphia where the first two presidents lived from 1790 to 1800. And this is the ghost outline of the house as it used to stand right here in Philadelphia on Market Street. Here at the Liberty Bell Center and we just finished watching a short film about the bell and I learned quite a bit. We all know that it was used to call Congress and it was used to call people to important events in the city but a couple of things that I learned was that it also was used as a symbol um, for those who were fighting slavery for the abolitionists of the time as well as by um, the suffragettes who were using it as a symbol for their right to vote and um, right before World War I it was also used as a symbol of our freedom in order to help sell war bonds so it's quite an interesting piece of history. Now we're headed for Independence Hall for our pre-appointed tour time. the tour of Independence Hall. It was amazing to be there where so much American history happened. Now we're headed to the Betsy Ross House. To the Betsy Ross house and we just happened to pass the Christ Church burial ground which was somewhere that we also wanted to see because it's where Benjamin Franklin is permanently laid to rest. Very, very old cemetery. Most everybody in here is from the 1800s. There's a lot of um, gravestones that you can't read at all anymore um, because that limestone just wears out so much.
has now had to head back to the hotel and shower and change. He's actually working this afternoon. This is a business trip for him. So I'm ha here having a quick bite to eat, and then I'm going to head out and go on the Hop On Hop Off bus tour of Philadelphia. It was included with my Philadelphia pass. Um, I have two days on the bus, so I'm going to do that today. I find that, that these buses, um, they're in almost every big city, whether it's here in the United States or overseas in Europe, and it's something that I usually do on the first day of when I arrive in a new city. I find that they're a really good way to get an overview of the city, how it's laid out, um, what the major attractions are, and anything that I might want to um, be interested enough in to go back and actually go inside of. So I'm going to do that today and figure out what I'm probably going to do tomorrow because I'm going to be completely on my own all day tomorrow. And I just wanted to show you this Philadelphia Pass. It's a card that you get. I pre-purchased mine online but you can buy it here at the Philadelphia Information Center. It's good for over 40 museums and it comes with a guidebook as well. Um, that tells you in detail the hours and gives you maps um, about where everything is. And a lot of these are um, on the bus route for the hop on hop off tour so you can kind of use that as your transportation to get around. So I'm going to have a quick bite to eat. The cafe here actually has um, some pretty good looking salads. I'll give you a quick little view of it. It's a pretty decent looking salad. So I'm going to have a quick bite to eat, get something to drink, and then I'm going to go out and catch the bus which meets right outside the information center here.